Let me tell you one of the movements that helped Alex Bregman be a very successful hitter. And Bregman sends one deep to left. It is back and it is gone. The three-run Also, this is like helping me with the ang like angle. Angle down a little bit. Keeping the front shoulder down, you mean? Yeah, but it's just like getting the this spot every time, like from wherever. It doesn't matter. Like I could have my hands here, but like if I got to this spot, or if I like you just pulled the old Scott Harrison. got to this spot. Alex Bergman right there. He's talking about the front shoulder down. That front shoulder down helping to create better separation. When you create better separation with lower body, lower body and upper body, you're gonna have more quickness. Quickness equal power. He say slightly down slightly down why i want to go slightly down because when i go forward my lower body start up and and then your front shoulder down allow you to stretch that core and then you got a better uh, sequence from the lower body to the upper body we don't want to go forward with the front shoulder up because if we go with the front shoulder up we don't got no stretch right here we don't want to go forward with the front shoulder in too much you're gonna have stretch but you don't gonna when you're gonna rotate around the ball and out the out of the zone. He's talking about slightly down and in. That's just uh, enough stretch to be consistent and develop some kind of power. And the good thing is he tilt the shoulder down just a little bit so he can tilt back through the zone. Instead of like pulling out or don't feel any stretch when your front shoulder is up, okay? That's a key point to help him. Maybe that can help you. You can start however, like he say, but as long as he get right here with the front shoulder down and good connection right there, you should feel the power because you, you engage more your hands in your shoulders instead of like being handsy out there and don't create enough separations to have good sequence so you can have power and quickness. Now, after the mechanic part, uh, we, you know, we always looking for mechanic side. For him to feel something comfortable, he may feel that front shoulder is slightly down, allow him to see the ball better, and more in the outside pitch, off pitch. So that helps him mentally to stay more focused and do the outcome that he wants. Because a lot of players, when they go forward, they're, they're not getting the right angles with their shoulders and, uh, and they, they focus more on the turning behind it and they don't get the right power and the right quickness. For him to think that and helping a lot, that's a good key a good key point maybe for you maybe you're pulling off too early maybe you like don't feel powerful and that front shoulder going down is part of the key point for you move forward if you don't got that front shoulder down when you move forward you probably slacking on one of the most important part to you be powerful and be like elite player almost every hitter there are elite when they move forward that shoulder start slightly down just like he say okay so if that help you and if some kind of way that help you mentally or whatever, good for you. But that had to be there, your mechanics, okay? Hopefully this helped you. If you got any questions, go to CastroBrosTV.com or go to Instagram, CastroBros, and go subscribe. We keep putting drills every other day and we answer any question you chat with us anytime, okay? See ya.